Oh wow everyone. This road is washing out. This is a culvert we actually looked at last year. We were unable to do anything for it. I'm gonna get out and look at conditions. Wow, this was rushing so bad I can tell. We're gonna pull over here and take a look. Yup. I was here last year trying to get this culvert working. I believe we got it open a bit. So it's got to be right there. See that big beaver dam right there? Got all these giant logs that floated over. Right here you can see beavers were damming it from coming in the road because they wanted it deeper. Definitely got active beavers here. Oh, but it's still flowing over the road. So the culvert should be right here. Look at that. There's their failed T structure. So here's the culvert. Even the beavers are going across the street for materials. Look at this. That would have been a sight to see. Dragging those trees across the road. That's a big old culvert. Not in the best shape, but it's only rotted out the exiting foot. The rest of it looks okay to run. Wow, that's a three foot culvert. How far down is that? Because maybe we can get this thing going. It's right here. Yep, it's going across exactly where we thought it was. That's a big job. Thinking about it. Got a big old fishing lure right here. What's it stuck to? Now, there was some reason we couldn't do this last year, but I'm still gonna give it a try this year. All right, so somebody just came over to see if I was all right because I pulled over here. They may have thought I messed up the car going over that thing. They had to go over it really slow. Anyways, that right there was a game warden seeing if I was all right here. And I told them, what I am gonna attempt doing here told me to be very careful. So right now, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna put the camera two right over there because if this thing is successfully opened in full, it's gonna flood this stream's banks. So right here, I'm gonna put the camera on this hill. All right, let's give camera two a start up. All right, and I even tried pushing the tripod's legs into the mud, because I don't want this thing falling over. Seems pretty sturdy. Because if that thing falls over, we might not find it if it falls down into that water. There's a lot of fish in here too. Let's see if we can unclog this at all. It's pretty deep.
make sure I'm aligned correctly. About right. Yeah, I checked across the street, it's about two feet below the surface. It's jammed up pretty good. A what? Excavator. You did? Yeah, the wagon. Shit, you have to go down. How often does this happen? Oh, you can unplug it today and tonight they'll be back. Yep. There was a beaver deceiver on it, it ended up over there there. What is it? Like over there. Oh there. yeah. And they, they call them beaver deceivers. They carry that out in and it's smaller than the pipe of tin. So they come try to dam that, but they can't make the water rise because the moving the water past got yeah. moving. It tricked them for, oh, maybe a year. Has it even turned dirty yet? How far is that?
I feel the corrugation. So that's the end of it. Wow, we got a lot of leeches coming over to see me. There's a lot of leeches starting to swim. I'm starting to hear a lot of bullfrogs. I want to see if we got this any better. It sounds better to me at least. Well, I guess that's why we gave up last year. I just got down to the pipe. I could feel the ribs of the corrugated metal. Found the end of it. You saw me jam the brim handle down in there, but this one has a lot of pressure on it. It's not like I can just stand in front of it, unclogging it, 
because if I do unclog it, it's got the pressure of four feet of water. So, let's go see what's happening inside it at least. I'm gonna go get a headlamp. I just watched the video of the second camera and we did get this thing to flow slightly more by just poking around over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to try touching it from inside. That is so dangerous. But let me get this branch full of spider webs out of here. I'm going to bring you in there to show you the dam. Me. Oh my gosh, there's so many spiders and this is too tight of a spot. I can't do this without getting them on there. But you guys take a look at what's down there. Look at that. We're not going to be able to easily get that open. Look at all that excavator damage. No wonder the broom handle couldn't do much. You see how far I would have to dig fighting pressure the whole time? So much damage with an excavator. Oh, that's why we couldn't do it last year. And yes, according to that guy who stopped, it all looks like fresh material. That checks out. Because he was talking about, they unclogged this thing a few times a year. The guy who stopped to talk to me. And he told me he's the one who used to unclog this. But he hasn't done it in years. Oh, he talked about doing it with a backhoe years ago. And I told him I'm doing this just because I'm bored. I got nothing better to do today. Today's Memorial Day. Yeah, so, I was digging in the right spot. So, the culvert here is just over a foot beyond the, the water surface. Then you gotta get through two feet of crumpled culvert, and that's three feet of water pressure there. So if I got the whole thing open, it's five feet. So hopefully, whatever excavator operator does this next, doesn't damage it anymore. And this thing is long, this thing's pretty long. I expected it to be snug against the road because usually a lot of these companies are cheap and don't, don't wanna pay for the extra few feet so the road doesn't fall in on it, but yeah. So the road doesn't fall in on it. It goes further than I thought, so that means once they do drain this and get down to it, they can just cut off the damaged foot or so. So the guy who stopped here to talk for a few minutes said this thing here worked for about a year before the beavers figured out how to clog that. And here's someone's old box spring, or is that a whole mattress? That might be a whole mattress. They were built really tough back in the day. Thick metal like that. But that guy sure was right. Even if this thing was opened, it'd be clogged up in the morning. That's actually kind of what I'm looking for because I've been out now multiple times trying to find a big culvert like this to completely unclog. Is I want to put a camera inside it. But every t place I've found in the past, the beavers are no longer there. They're trapped. I don't know why they don't trap them at this location. This is one of the worst situations. Been going on for many years. There's also leeches galore in here. Is that a leech on the edge? No, that's a stick. But I saw quite a few leeches. So we'd have to literally dig four, five feet to get this thing completely open. It's literally not doable by hand because as soon as you get it running, the pressure that it's going to have gushing through, you won't be able to hold the rake still. It'll try to take it from you. 
I unclogged like another culvert just this morning that only had two feet of pressure. You couldn't even put your hand in front of it. It just wants to fold your hand right on into it. And this right here would be way too dangerous to do from the inside. I've done beaver dams from the inside, but they've only been like two or three feet tall max. And they've never blocked the entire thing. This thing has a lot of pressure. Definitely a potentially deadly job to do without heavy machinery. Now that I looked on the other side, I can't do this. At first, I was like, wow, the pipe's only two feet down, which it is, which it is. But, oh, actually, on the entrance end, it's only about a foot down, which is not bad at all. I could remove some of it, come back in a few hours, remove the rest. And there would be minimal danger there, but this situation, I'd have to start at three or four feet just because of the damage. Anyways, I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching and have a great day.